it's about time you came in to chat. Hello, Mr. Bones. Hello, Solomon. Am I talking to a door today or am I talking to the man behind the door today? Would you prefer if I came out and had a chat? I'm not really one for talking to inanimate objects. Hmm. All right, then. Not what I was expecting. What were you expecting exactly? The boogeyman? Well, I mean, I've just been given a load of stories about you, so I'll be honest with you, a guy in a flat cap, weren't it? Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint. No, not disappoint. Just you know, sometimes you aren't too sure what you're going to be expecting behind a door. I would imagine you have questions then. I got a few. I've got some very good friends of mine who uh, treat your name as though it is like a chill has entered a room. So I thought I'd come and understand where that chill comes from. I see. I like knowing things, you see. So I better understand them. Oh, I'm very privy of your work, Mr. Walker. You're very good at this whole information gathering bit. Oh, well, thank you. Mm. So if you don't mind me being so bold, Mr. Bones, what exactly are you? I suppose that depends on who you talk to. I'm Professor. talking to you. Hmm. A good way to put it. Sort of. The end of the finish line these days. The end of a race, if you will. Do you hear what's waiting on the end of the shuffling off of one's mortal coil? Is that what you're getting at? In a way, yes. Why a lighthouse? Well, initially, that big house up there on the cliffside. I lived in for a while, but I need not return to this place. However, lighthouse sort of beckons all the ships back to shore. Sort of symbolic in that way. You help guide people to the other side? Precisely. I'm told you like to play games, Mr. Bones. Is that accurate? I wouldn't necessarily call them games, though I suppose one could see it that way. So what is it that caused today to be the day that you started reaching out to members of my club? You lot sort of lit a beacon, I'm afraid. I had spent quite a bit of time sort of looking about, you know, seeing things here and there, but not really bothering. And then, after all this time had passed, and I'm sure that you, know, you aren't exactly privy of everything that has occurred, but the bullet you put through Winston's skull sort of shot a flare out in the open sea. And 
why that bullet through that head lit a beacon for you? Oh, just a tempered history, I suppose. Have you seen Winston? You have a chat like me and you having a chat right now? In a very different place. But uh, sure. I mean, I imagine he was halfway to the bottom of the sea with a hole in his head. Hmm. You the reason he's an ICU right now? Oh, I ain't asking if you're the reason he got fucking shot. I'm wondering if you're the reason he got out of the fucking sea. Not my story to tell, I'm afraid. Shame. I mean, by saying that, you sort of implied you were involved. Didn't you? If someone is near death, of course I am involved, Mr. Walker. My cousin struck a deal with you to get back out here with the rest of us. Nothing has been agreed upon. Yet. keen sense of awareness, Mr. Walker. I admire that. Uh, reading people is what I do. Told there is very little you don't know about someone. That is typically the case. If there is things that I am not privy to, all it takes is a bit of time, and I'll figure it out. Sounds like me and you aren't too dissimilar then. Hmm. In that similar vein of questioning, it seems you wish to test my knowledge on some things. Or maybe I'm making the wrong assumption. No, not at all. Like I said, I've no precious little about you. All I have to go on is the few things I've been told in the last 30 minutes or so. And like I said, I am curious. I do my best to be an open book. You are free to ask. I ask. What do I ask? Is she comfortable? She is. I had a very brief chat. You can take solace knowing that she is, she is at rest. I guess the question now would be is what she was I talking about? Your daughter. Ah, Mr. Bones, you do impress me. Mm -hmm. Seems some of the stories are true. 
afraid they are. Well, not that necessarily you give a shit, but you got my respect. Hmm. I'm say this. There are some things that I do try and keep sacred, such as those who have passed on are unbothered. Hopefully that is a sort of reassurance. It is. Hmm. Well, Mr. Bones, you seem like a busy man, especially in a place like this, and I have already taken up quite a considerable amount of your time. Hmm. I suppose someone wanted to reach out to you for another conversation. Is that something best left to your devices to reach out, or is there a way I can reach you? Oh, don't worry. I'll come and see you. I look forward to it. But on that note, Mr. Bones, I think I've got a date with a dark patch of sea and a long drive home. Hmm. Till next time, Mr. Bones. Until next time, Mr. Walker. Love the hat, by the way. <laughs> <laughs>